a four years here at UCF, it, it's been a blast. It's been a great ride. All the friends I've made, all the people I've met, and it's, it's gone by quick. And when you come in freshman year, you don't you don't think it's going to go by this quick. But I can sit here and say I can remember just like yesterday, sitting in my freshman dorm with my teammates, my freshman class, and it just goes by really quick. And it's been a great ride. I remember my first day showing up on campus, summer of 2014, meeting Logan Heiser for the first time. Now thinking like it was yesterday, how like nervous we were about our first lift, first day of class, things like that. I, I do remember that first lift. I mean, I have, I have nightmares about it, but I do remember walking over to the weight room with Eric Heppel and Josh Moser and all the freshman class, not knowing what to expect and just to see how far we've come, how much we've changed. It's 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 surreal and it's it's really it almost makes you sad sometimes to think about how fast how fast it's gone. Probably my best memory here was beating USF um, at home last year, last game in the regular season. Dogpiling, winning that regular season conference championship, and nothing could beat that. Dogpiling with your brothers, your family, all your friends. That's a memory that'll last a lifetime. Well, I mean, last year was crazy. I mean, just to do it in one year, go worst to first. You know, the kids have been through so much. You know, always talk about that the memories these these kids are going to talk about for the rest of their lives are going to be centered around this field. Yeah, definitely being a rival here, definitely, and also to win the conference at the same time, it was uh, definitely a big, big win, big weekend, and a big year for us last year. One thing I would definitely want to leave the young guys with is to make sure you continue that team chemistry, build that culture, good talent, not good talent. Like, if you have a good culture, good good team chemistry, you have, a, you have a chance to win. Playing together on the field, having that good team chemistry, trusting the guy to the left and right of you. If you, if you have that, no matter how good you are, how fast you throw, how, how far you hit the ball, you have a chance to win and do something special. This culture has definitely changed in the past couple of years, the new coaching staff and everything. Definitely for the brotherhood aspect, uh, definitely hang out with the guys, you know. Be, be teammates, you know, be friends, be boys, you know. Just hang out together, build that team chemistry, you know, build that brotherhood. You know, they're, they're your friends for life, you know, you're gonna hang out for years, spend so much time with them together, you know. It's, a, it's an awesome family. One of those things is, especially as a walk-on, you come to a team, you don't really know the culture, you don't really know many people. So once you make the team and kind of go through the process and understand how everything works, it's kind of cool to see that you kind of fit in and everybody accepts you for who you are and your role is on the team. And I couldn't trade it for the world. Like, I love these guys to death and I'd give my shirt off the back for any one of them. I mean, four years is nothing. It goes by like the blink of an eye. You gotta work hard, don't, don't lose focus and stay committed to what you set out to do, whether that's play professional, win a national championship, whatever it is. You know, hopefully we'll look back in 10, 15 years and remember these first couple senior classes that put so much time and effort in and really set the foundation for the growth and um, where the program is at that point. And so these guys, these last two senior classes have really meant a lot to me. I wish them all the best of luck. I mean, they're extensions of our program forever. And so I can't wait to follow them. I can't wait to hopefully be at weddings and baby announcements. And, and all that, but I wish them all the best. You know, we'll miss them, and I'm really grateful for everything they've done for this program. Um, I'm really grateful for everything they've done for me personally, and uh, I can't wait to, to watch them grow and, and, and be great pillars of whatever communities they live in.